Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Conversations Podcast. Today we'll be discussing Dr. Disrespect's recent Apology Life Jam, which has been widely criticized as one of the worst apologies ever seen on YouTube. Dr. Disrespect, known for his larger-than-life persona, has found himself at the recent center of controversy. Once again, this time it's over allegations of inappropriate messages sent to a minor. Despite his colorful public character, Guy Ham, Dr. Disrespect's real name, couldn't escape the gravity of these serious accusations. Let's dive into the highlights. First up, up Dr. Disrespect's apology livestream has as eclipsed some of the most infamous apology videos in internet history including colleen ballinger's infamous uh, ukulele apology the comparison here is stark while ballinger's apology was widely criticized ballinger's attempts to uh, amend amends has been deemed even more distraught during the live stream Ham admitted to sending inappropriate messages to a minor, confirming the serious nature of the allegations against him. This admission was significant a significant moment revealing the extent of his misogynistic and real world implications of his actions. Now let's talk about the character various reality Doctor Disrespect's persona This flamboyant, over-the-top character might be entertaining, but it doesn't shield Ham from his consequences of this action. The discussion between his public persona and his real-life behavior is crucial here, as it underscores a troubling gap between online performance and personal accountability. Another major issue in Mayhem's attempt to de- deflect blame during the apology, instead of offering a sig- straightforward apology, he shifted focus and attempted to downplay his actions, which only highlights his lack of genuine accountability. This deflection reveals a broad problem in influencer culture where public figures often avoid full responsibility for their actions. This brings us to the concept of the infant second chance. Despite Dr. Disrespect's respect, uh, despite controversy and comebacks, he continues to have significant following. This pattern of temporary setbacks followed by return suggests a troubling trend where problematic figures are re- uh, repeatedly given passes due to their influence and fan base. Seeking a fa- see, uh, speaking of fan base, the reaction to Baham's apology has been particularly telling. Many of his supporters continue to defend him, showcasing a uh, concerning level of idealism idealism that can blind fans to the seriousness of the issue at hand this loyalty while admirable in some respects also highlights how uh, problematic figures can thrive despite their controversies key highlights from this situation include the way dr disrespects controversies reflect on his brand's integrate integrity his reckless behavior traditions his public image and raises questions about the role of stupidity as a brand tribu- tribute furthermore uh, Bayman, Bayman's insti- instincts that can that he did nothing illegal, various, the clear more issues at play underscores the discussion between uh, legitimacy and morality. There's also the public persona dilemma. 
the contrast between Bah Bahman's online character and his real life actions raise questions about the authenticity of online personas as these characters just uh, fa fades or do they reflect deeper truths between the individuals behind them finally let's not overlook the role of media security the exposure of Behman's actions by the media highlights the importance of accountability in influencer culture. It's a reminder that even in the fast-moving world of social media, serious issues need to be addressed with transparency and responsibility. To wrap up, Dr. Disrespect's apology livestream is a case study in the complexity of online influence, accountability, and fan loyalty. It's a reminder of ongoing cycle of controversy and come back that seems to uh, plug many internet personalities. That is today's episode on the whole Dr. Disrespect and public minor messaging Twitch issue. And to give you my own take on this issue, for me, this man has to in some way release his chat logs. He has to go to the front of the table and say, show uh sh we have to tell him show us this and in the middle of the table he presents the chat logs we all look at what he's written and how it's going about and for me i was watching a video today about this whole doctor disrespect and minor issue and for me the person was discussing about how if doctor disrespect released those messages and showed what was actually being discussed between him and that young minor he would not look as great or as good between what was sent and what was uh, discussed. And this, for me, shows you that he knows he's going to come out on the other side looking very ugly and not very, very great. So he's trying in every way, shape and form just to neglect what was happening and what was going on and just try to push it away, you know, sweep it under the rug. And this is his way of trying to move around the situation without getting into too much problems or causing too much issues. But, you know, only time will tell if he's going to release those chat logs and what is the actual age of this individual, if they're actually minor, maybe they're older. But he's trying to just neglect and try to turn the situation around just to try to say, you know, this person's actually not young or this hadn't actually happened. I don't know and I'm not really want to give you more detail about something when I'm not really... It's not about the interest, it's me not really wanting to just be interested. It was at the time where I wanted to discuss it the first time it happened. But now as I hear more and more about it, it just feels like a joke and you shouldn't be taking what's being said anymore so seriously because everyone's just coming out with like one man's perspective, a second man's perspective, you know, the guy from Twitter, the man himself, and then the chat logs which are the full truth so we'll know if it's like an innocent man and then I can probably be more detailed and give you more of a straightforward answer or I don't say anything at all and just let it be but until then thank you all so much for watching I really do appreciate you sticking around and listening to today's podcast make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section and I will catch you all in the next one goodbye